Alright well, guys, welcome back to another uh, video. And in today's video we're going to be going over your uniform devices. Now your uniform devices will include ribbons, name tag, uh, unit crest, shoulder cords, basically anything that goes on your uniform is uh, what we'll be going over. So uh, I guess to begin, you're going to want to start off with your name tag. So I have the name tag uh, blocked out just so you can't uh, read the name obviously but uh, depending on which branch of JRTC you're taking your uh, name tag placement w may d uh, differ so I know for uh, Navy they usually put it about a quarter of an inch above but uh, because this is Army we're gonna go ahead and put it right here on the pocket and center it and when you center it the pins on the back should go straight through like so now uh, what some people use to keep the name tag on is uh well other than the uh, prongs is the uh, pieces of cardboard but actually uh, if you're able to get access on base or if any other uh, store off base uh, they sell these. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but basically they replace cardboard and you can just stick it on your uniform just like that. And uh, when you get your prongs to uh, put your hold it in place, um, they'll actually stay on and it'll actually be less likely to I guess hang because without that uh, backing that's what uh, that's the proper term is uh, if you use that cardboard or these it's the backing they will uh, make it look like it's actually on your shirt and not just hanging off and oh yeah that's one other issue is you just want to make sure that it's uh, aligned like that but I'll be taking that off to take off the tape anyways, so you get the idea. So you're going to want that to be aligned to this, the seam. And uh, for Army, I, some school have it listed differently. But I know for your unit crest in the Army, JRTC, it's going to be one eighth of an inch, about one eighth of an inch above the uh, pocket uh, seam right here and centered on this crease that we made in our uh, last video. So it's about one eighth of an inch. And centered. So you want to get it centered on those uh, seams or those uh, creases, which is one of the important things in these uniforms is the creases that will help you like center things onto your uniform and again we'll just put those backings back on and that will be your name tag and your unit crest the Unicris is also blocked out because I don't need you knowing what school I go to. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and start with the, uh, the ribbons. So, uh, actually, the ribbons right here, these two rows, uh, actually these two rows and up to here are actually navy ribbons. I originally went to a navy JRTC, but I ended up transferring over to an army school uh, when my family moved. And this one, again, schools have it listed differently. Some will say right on the seam. Some will say about a one eighth of an inch above it. So I like to go with the one eighth inch. But I'd assume anywhere in between there would be actually okay, because they they will look to see if it's on the seam or if it's one eighth of an inch. 
and they will actually measure it if it's too high. So if it looks too high, they'll tell you to fix it. And if you don't fix it, there will be uh, academic consequences. So yeah, and then same thing. I tend to use these backings. And uh, let me go ahead and grab one more backing and one more prong. And then obviously once you get those backings on, Put the prongs back on, make sure it doesn't fall off. Because your ribbons will show how hard you work in JRTC. That's one of the perks about taking JRTC is when you earn ribbons, you can show just how hard of a worker you are in that class. Because your uh, wards you get to keep actually. Now except for the uh, shoulder cords, which is those right there. You don't get to keep those, but you keep the ribbons and medals. So those are your ribbons. Now these right here, those are technically, uh, when I wear the uniform, I'm supposed to be there. But uh, last time I actually put them on for some event. I can't remember what it was, but if you have, these actually come with medals. And usually if you get the medals, you would wear one or the other, not both. But because I have the medals here today, I'll actually be using those extra medals as a way to show what happens when you get more than a certain amount of medals but so just take, keep note of that is when you wear an award that you earn and if it comes with both a medal and a ribbon choose one or the other personally some people like to wear the medals because they look nice some people will wear the ribbons because too many medals make too much noise it depends on how I'm feeling that day but uh yeah that's the next thing we'll go over is uh, medals now I have five medals right now, as of now. And did I just drop some? Oh, I dropped a prong. So I have five medals, and there's actually a way to... Okay, there isn't a specific way as uh, what order they go in. But um, there's a certain amount you can have on each row. And we'll start with uh, this one. So... Again, you shouldn't have the same one, it's one or the other. But for instructional purposes, in the event you have more than uh, three medals, then I will go ahead and show you uh, how, it, how it's worn. So if you're a new cadet, actually, and you earn your first medal, that will go centered, obviously, because everything needs to be centered. Now, I don't know why some cadets will put it all the way down here. It goes right here. But uh, if you get uh, more than that, let's say you get, I don't know, like two. Let's just say you get two. Uh, then you will put them right next to each other and centered. 
And if you get three, they'll go just like so, side by side. And once again, unless your instructors, now not many instructors actually ask this, or some schools do this, but because usually you don't wear the ribbons with the medals. If they do in the event, you are required to wear it for whatever reason, both the ribbon and the medal, uh, your medal should go right underneath the exact same ribbon, as you can see here. Now if you get more than a, more than that, say you get four medals. If you get four medals, goes right underneath there. See? And then if you get an extra one, same thing, they'll go off to the side. These will actually go underneath it while these go on top. So I should look. I'm not going to put them on all right now because that's just too much of a hassle. But you you get the idea. Usually you just wear whichever ones. So because I have the ribbons on already, I won't wear those three medals. But the other two I will. But I'll put those on later. But actually, no, I'll put them on right now, just so that I can show you how to put them on. So th these ones they're a little bit informal. At least this one is. This is actually a school medal, and I got it turned into a JRTC medal. But yeah, they go there. This one doesn't have those uh, backings, so I'm just going to just leave it on the side there. And uh, you kind of see the name on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and cover that up with another medal. There you go, so now you can't see the name of it. <sighs> okay, so uh, last but not least, we have the uh, shoulder cords. Uh, depending on what school you go to, you might get another shoulder cord that's different. So like this one, I completed uh, basic cadet, or what was it? Oh, battalion leadership camp. And uh, I don't know how many schools actually have the exact same one, but this is... Uh, a shoulder cord. Some schools call it an aguilette. Basically this goes on your shoulder like on the sides here to show that you like these are basically like an elite award is what some people would refer to it as. Now with these there's actually certain things depending on what it is. So each shoulder cord actually has a ranking. One's higher than the other. Now this one is I just completed battalion leadership camp. Or let's say I did. So when you do that, let's say this is the only shoulder cord you got. It goes on your left one. But because this is a commander's cord and you can tell by the extra rope on it, that's a commander's cord. This would be higher. Now the rule is when you first get when you get your first shoulder cord, and let's say this was my first shoulder cord, you will always put it on your uh, left shoulder. So your highest shoulder cord or your first shoulder cord goes onto your left shoulder. And if I can just go ahead and fix that. like that and then this part right here will go onto your button now I'm not gonna button this yet because there's one more thing actually before I uh, finish this video off so yeah there's one more thing after the shoulder cords and then whatever's next now if you get more than one shoulder cord you only wear one at a time 
you will wear the two highest ones. And obviously the higher one goes on the left. Okay, so those are your shoulder cords. Now before I finish off, there's actually two more things I need to put on. Actually, four more things, kinda. I'll explain it. So these right here are your shoulder ranks. You get these when you're an NCO or above, so a non-commissioned officer or above. That'd be the rank of corporal and above. So corporal, sergeant, all the way through lieutenants and lieutenant colonel. So these go on your shoulder patches, and that rank right there, the dot, is actually a second lieutenant, or a cadet second lieutenant. The JRTC program, they don't use the uh, act active duty uh, insignias for their uh, officer ranks, just so that they don't get confused for active duty service members. And in another video, I will actually be going over cadet ranks, specifically Army J uh, JRTC, and I might go over Navy ones. And that is your basics to uh, putting on your uni uniform devices such and such uh, hopefully this guide was helpful and uh, stay, in, uh, stay tuned for any other videos that's all I have really there's nothing much to it like I said it's simple uh, shouldn't be too hard to do so if you're a new cadet hopefully this helps you